As Christopher Nolan's first R-rated adventure in over 20 years, Oppenheimer was bound to have elements that would make certain audience members squeamish. But in some regions, audiences got more than they bargained for. And the world is not prepared. The media hyped up the sex scenes in Oppenheimer to the point where people speculated incorrectly that there was a 15-minute intimate scene in the film. The final results may not have been as titillating as some people expected, but even with this awareness, it has done little to stop censors from making adjustments to the film. Not long after the film came under scrutiny from Indian officials due to a sex scene between Killian Murphy's Robert Oppenheimer and Florence Pugh's Jean Tatlock, where Oppenheimer reads the heavily revered Bhagavad Gita, further action was taken to censor some of the film's nudity. In another scene that sees Oppenheimer and Tatlock sitting across from each other in a hotel room while completely naked, a computer-generated black dress has been added to Pew from some Indian and Middle Eastern censors. Regarding nudity, this type of censorship is considered common practice in the region. Unlike the more adult-oriented R rating given to the film in the United States, the Central Board of Film Certification in India granted the censored film a UA rating. This means that children under the age of 12 are permitted to see the movie if they have a parent with them. So how does that affect the movie-going experience? One Twitter user weighed in, posting, It's pointless to watch Oppenheimer in India. Blurred, blocked with black bars, slapped with no smoking signs. CBFC is the most anti-cinema thing in existence. To those who made the film, these racy scenes have more importance to them than some might think. Everyone is entitled to their opinions on how the nude scenes with Murphy and Pugh in Oppenheimer worked for them. Many viewers have reportedly found their reality-blurring sex scene between the two during the security clearance hearing, as Oppenheimer's wife Kitty looks on, to be a bit jarring. It's happening, isn't it? But in the eyes of the director, Christopher Nolan, the film would feel incomplete had they been lost. In an interview with Insider, the Dark Knight and Interstellar director shared his motivation for including sex scenes in the film, something largely avoided prior in his filmography. He told the outlet, Well, when you look at Oppenheimer's life and you look at his story, that aspect of his life, the aspect of his sexuality, his way with women, the charm that he exuded, it's an essential part of his story. Many of the director's previous films were PG-13, and as such, they were largely absent of any sensual moments. But for the real-life story of such an integral figure in the world's history, it appears Nolan wanted to be sure the audience understood him as best they could. He further explained how Gene Tatlock's position as a communist made a major impact on Oppenheimer's life down the line. So perceiving their relationship through the right lens was crucial to understanding his later endeavors. Nolan added, It felt very important to understand their relationship and to really see inside it and understand what made it tick, without being coy or elusive about it, but to try to be intimate. The filmmaker also believed that the talents of Murphy and Pugh helped make his job easier when planning out these moments. While the final results may not have worked for all audiences, hopefully the overarching message of Oppenheimer isn't lost over a distracting CGI dress.